to this from a prospect. In this video, we will make a solar scanner using the ultrasonic sensor and the micro servo. For this ultrasonic sensor project, we will use an Atmega 2564, the brain of our computer, and servo which rotates and sources which dance up equipment, and an electros electrosonic sensor which uh, is, I can say it in simply wo simple words. This container, like shape, like a china, sends an ultrasonic sound that when it hits an object here, it reflects it and it touches it here. The uh, chip will process how many times it taken and how many how many ultrasonic waves is uh, taken and it will process it into a uh, distance. Now, and we will use some jumper wires to connect the, connect the components. Now, let's connect. Let's connect. We, first, we will connect the server. Connect the red pin, PMW pin, um, 5 volts pin to 5 volt, VCC pin, and the brown pin, PWM signal, 2, 3. Uh, whichever you want then the yellow to ground then our full connection is ready now let's add the ultrasonic sensor to it connect the ground and uh, VCC to the the correct position the ground to ground the VCC to 5 watts then the trigger to 9 or any pin you want in PWM section uh, even you can use Arduino you know but, but you want to change the pins you can change. You can use any board if you want. Uh, if the code is still safe, now our connection is finished. Uh, now our connection is finished. Now I will say how to pair it up. Take the and uh, take like this for the server. Then attach it in the uh, ultrasonic sensor. You can three D print it, uh, hot glue it, or tape it. I will tape it. I will see you after I tape it. Now I have assembled the ultrasonic sensor and the server using tape. We will use processing IDE for the graphics. It's an easy software to make graphics and Arduino IDE to upload the code. Let's upload the code. Copy and paste the code that I left in the description. Now I'll explain the upload. Include server hutch. You want to include the uh, the uh, library called the server hutch. Constant in trigger pin died. The connection equipment is dead. Then log duration. The second, how much it takes. Like uh, if the if the it sends the ultrasonic sound and it receives the ultrasonic sound, so it will uh, send like uh, that. So we are saying log duration. Text it distance. It distance is uh, uh it will uh, the it will process it and it will show you the distance. Next is servo by servo. It's for the servo. Next trigger pin output. Yes, the trigger. The ultrasonic it gives the ultrasonic sound, so it's the output and the tech pin, echo pin, it's the uh, input, it receives the ultrasonic sound. Serial begin 9600. Your uh, serial uh, monitor board is 9600. My servo attached 3. 3 is the pin number for that. So we said 3 uh, pin attach 3. And for the void loop, we have for in i equals to 15, i 
greater symbol times 15 i plus plus there by server right what i the delay 30 seconds distance calculate distance it want to calculate the distance so so that like that so next serial pretil i serial pretil uh the comma for extra for uh, character uh, to start from the distance and uh, serial pretil the distance the distance speeds not the distance not the distance it want to print itself it want to print the distance value next another word full stop by server right i delay 30 seconds these are all the same distance like that next is it calculation distance speed this is what what want to be in the calculation speed digital right led pin is high and digital right uh, uh rows digital right by uh by micros digital right micro micro seconds dead digital right trigger pin low duration files echo pin high so distance duration 0 0.03 what 0 0.034 2 return distance echo pin here echo pin is high because it want to go higher low next duration is 0 34 12 and it's return distance now upload the code after you upload the code you want the software called processing id where you create your own graphics we will create it Let's code the processing IDE. Go and you want to check whether it's Java or not. And it's Java for me. So and paste the code. It's a simple code you can see. But I think you want to check is your port. Uh, make sure you have the port that you have your board into connected. You can check it in the uh, scratch in the Arduino IDE. Now it will show like this. Uh, it's not coming for me. I was not. I am not connecting it. If you connect it, you will show. It will show you like that. Let's test it out whether it's working or not. Now I have uploaded the code in the processing IDE, and it show me a grid like this. And so I expect super fast the angle of the server, the distance it takes. Now when I place my finger, it show me a, a line and it show the distance and where my finger is. And it also shows that what which is the angle. When I and you can notice when I place my uh, hands, it's going faster. Then. When I do not place my head, it's going to add over. And it will show you distance. Now it can read distance from a high range. Yeah, like a 30 centimeter around. It's working. Thank for watching. Hope sure you like my videos. Subscribe and share.